Hello, and thank you so much for coming back and joining me for this week's Saturday Fragrance Shakedown. So today I'll be sharing with you the Fiore scent by Vince Camuto. So if you'd like to hear about notes, prices, stuff like that, then please keep on watching. Just so you know, I do upload a daily video here on this channel on budget beauty. So it can be a fragrance review, it can be skincare, makeup, tutorial, it really just does depend on the day of the week. So make sure that you subscribe to my channel hit that notification bell, turn it on to all so that way you are notified. I also do a live stream every Sunday night at 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I will go ahead and link my new channel down below. It's all about budget food. It's called Gourmet on a Budget. And I also upload on that one daily as well. So um, it feels like it's been a really long time since I've done a Saturday fragrance Shakedown and it hasn't. I don't know what's going on. Maybe we're, I'm doing 14 videos a week now. I don't know, but um, like I said, today's um, this week's fragrance is the Fiori by Vince Camuto. This is the Fine Fragrance Mist. This does come in a perfume. The perfume is so expensive. I didn't realize how expensive the actual perfume of this is. I didn't realize Vince Camuto was a, like a, like he's like a legit designer. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't, because I don't buy expensive perfume. That is why. So the like the perfume and like in the beautiful glass bottle, it's like $90. So very pricey. So this um, fine fragrance mist. So obviously it does have more alcohol in it. It's not going to be as long lasting as a perfume or something like that. But I did get it on sale for $2.49. And this actually retails for about $10. Um, you can still purchase it, um, I, Macy's, those kind of places, um, I, if I can find it on Amazon, I will link it down below, it'll be an Amazon affiliate link, you're welcome to use it, you don't have to, that's if I can find it, okay, so check that description box, but anyway, this fragrance was launched in 2013, okay, so the top notes of this fragrance is grapefruit, bellini, and nectarine, has mid notes of iris, Freesia and Jasmine and then it does have a very nice base note. Um, it has uh, musk, amber, patchouli, and precious woods. So let's go ahead and put this on. Um, I don't know if you can see but um, I've used quite a bit of it. The bottle is only up to here now. This is an absolutely stunning fragrance. Absolutely love it but nice mister. Okay so really really nice mister. This does smell like a very expensive fragrance. When I first got it, um, I'm like, oh, okay, it's on sale. I love perfume. I always need to pick up, you know, a perfume or two um, every couple of months so that way I can do these videos. Um, but yeah, I picked it up. Oh, and I'm like, this smells really expensive. It reminds me of something like Prada or something. And then when I was doing research for this video and I was like Googling and stuff like that, I'm like, Vince Camuto, I mean, I've heard of the name, but I didn't really think that it was like a high-end designer, but it is. There's like shoes and clothing and fragrance, and like I said, the fragrance is very pricey. Sorry, I was just trying to talk to let this dry a little. So to me, I'm not smelling like the super fruitiness. I'm not smelling the Bellini, the Nectarine. I'm not smelling the grapefruit. I'm smelling more of the floral. Um, I can definitely smell um, some of that. The Jasmine is the main thing I smell. Okay, not in a bad way. I do smell a little bit of that freesia. And I do smell a little bit of the amber and a little bit of woodsiness, but it's not a very overly aggressive or like musky scent. It is very floral, very, very floral, which is actually, I'm, it's really starting to grow on me. It does, it smells extremely expensive. It smells very, very good. Um, obviously where I've used so much of it, um, I get compliments on this quite a, quite a bit. I'm going to see if I can, I actually bought a second one of these, um, when it was on sale because I smelt it and I wanted to try it out. And so, yeah, I ended up getting two. Okay. There we go. So as you can see, there is how much I have left. And this is an eight fluid ounce bottle. Um, just put that back down, but um, it is. It's a really, really beautiful, beautiful fragrance. Um, it is, to me, 
I think you could wear this all year long, but to me it does smell very summery, maybe a little bit early fall. But if you love a floral fragrance, you would probably absolutely love this. Packaging is beautiful. The glass bottles of the actual like perfume is stunning. So beautiful. Um, it's just very elegant and it looks very expensive because it is very expensive. But if you wanted to try a like designer brand on a budget, you know, I don't think $10 for a body spray is unheard of nowadays. I mean, if you think about Bath & Body Works or Victoria's Secret, and I love both of those brands, but I don't consider them to be high-end. I don't. They're not drugstore. They're not like going and buying Bodycology or anything from Walmart, but they're expensive. It's like $16 for a body spray, right? So if you've always wanted to try a little bit of maybe a designer brand, I would definitely look for the Vince Camuto Fiori. It's an absolutely stunning fragrance. Yeah, it, it definitely reminds me when I first, like I said, when I first smelled it, it totally reminded me of something like Prada or, um, oh, what is that one? Juicy Couture. It definitely has that kind of vibe to it. If you've ever smelt those, they smell different from each other, but it's, it just has that more luxe, higher end scent to it than, you know, other fragrances that I've tried. Very floral, little tiny, tiny, tiny bit of like the amber and the woods. I can only pick it up because I love a nice woodsy and ambery scent. Um, if I don't think if you're if you're not into those heavier scents, I don't think you're gonna pick up on those base notes. It just blends really beautifully together. I can just pick them up because that's what I really enjoy in a fragrance. Um, so I can kind of find those notes, um, but it is very floral forward. As it start to, starts to dry down, I can maybe smell a tiny bit of the grapefruit. Um, it just kind of adds a little bit of a tang to it, but it's it's not it's not fruity to me at all. It's not. I have some fruity fragrances, and this is not a fruity fragrance to me. It's very floral. Um, it is a really really nice fragrance, especially if you love a nice floral fragrance. It's it's beautiful. Um, I think it'd be really nice for the holidays, you know. But like I said, I would definitely recommend the Fine Fragrance Mist. You get a large 8 ounce bottle and this fragrance does last quite a while. I would say I maybe, I maybe reapply it at like the 6 hour mark. And I'm sure people can still smell it on me, I just can't smell it on myself. So that's why I would reapply it, but it has a very long lasting fragrance and Mister is beautiful and it just, it smells very, very expensive. So I am glad I did get it on sale for $2.49, but the regularly retail um, price is $10. I would definitely check places like um, Marshalls, TJ Maxx, Ross. If you have any of those kind of discount, I, I don't know what they really would be considered. If you have some more of those discount type stores, I'd maybe check those out because it does seem like those places will have a very large um, selection of like the fine fragrance mist from like White Diamonds or Rihanna or those types of things. So I would definitely check out those places. Like I said, if I can find it on Amazon, I'm, I'm talking this. I'm not going to link the $90 perfume. I'm sorry, I'm not going to. Even if somebody would buy it through me, I'm not going to just because that's not what I'm reviewing. It will be the same scent, but I would never spend $90 on a perfume and I don't expect you to. So yeah, if you can find it on sale, if you can find this, I would definitely recommend this. It is beautiful. It's great, and I really, really do like it. And I think a lot of people out there would really enjoy it. Really nice scent. And that's coming from someone that maybe isn't the biggest fan of a floral fragrance, but it is really, really nice. I hope you enjoyed this week's Saturday Fragrance Shakedown. If you did, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and share the video. I had never really heard, I had never heard of this scent before until I found it on sale and bought it. So not only does it give get the word out on a really awesome fragrance, but it also shows you enjoying my content, which I do appreciate a ton. And uh, leave a comment down below. What is like the best like deal you've ever found on fragrance? Because like I said, I had no idea that this was a legit high-end brand or designer. So I would love to know what is the best deal you've ever found on fragrance, scent, whatever. Let me know down below in the comments. 
And don't forget, you are always welcome to follow me on my other social media, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. It's all a bunch of glam, babe. And don't go anywhere quite yet. I should have another video that start auto-playing here very, very soon. Or you're always welcome to click on one of the ones that will be popping up around the screen. So yeah, I'll see you here in just a second.